Yo, what is going on guys? It is Shishui back with another video. Hope you guys did enjoy the last video. If you can enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and do leave a comment asking anything that you want to know for the next one if you want to see something in the next video. This video is just tips and tricks on what to do for Nightfall. Enjoy. Alright guys, so I'm going to just be telling you things that I use to get my streaks done. And I think at the time of making this video, um, I started at 3,000, and by the end of it, which only was about a day later, I was already at, you know, 7,000, so, basically, 4,000 kills in one day is, it's pretty easy, if you have the right things, right, and most of the time, I was just in the solo matches, um, but you can do with more people if you want to, but you're gonna get about, maybe, 20 kills at most, if you are actually, like, good. So, I would suggest doing it solo. That's one of the main things that I did. It might be, you know, quiet and kind of annoying to do, but trust me, it's definitely better than only getting like 11 kills per match because there's seven people in your game and it's so hard to get kills with that many people, especially if those guys are way better than you. Next thing I want to talk about is perk slots. What do you want in your perk slots? Now me personally, I have about five perk slots and I used a bunch of different ones to see which would be the best for killing titans. Now of course, I'm going to be talking about legendary perks mostly, um, but if you guys do want a separate video on epic perks, then I can do that. Personally, I used Indefeatable because it is one of the best ways to get your titan shifting awakening bar if you do have titan shifting. If you don't have Titan Shifting, then this one does not apply to you. The next one I want to talk about is Unparalleled Strength, where you get an increase in ODM damage by 25%. This one is really good if you only have an A- minus level damage for your ODM gear. And I would really recommend it if you're struggling to kill Titans if you're using Oddball and Nightmare Mode. Okay, this next one is really important, and honestly, I think it's the biggest way I did not die in like a single hit or even two or three hits font of vitality this one increases your health by a hundred without even leveling it up and 125 at max this can save your life this is very important to have i believe there are legend or epic and rare versions of the perk i don't remember what they're called but i know they are really good and i would really recommend them the last perks that I want to talk about are the ones in the support slot and these are going to be Gear Master and Sixth Sense. Now Gear Master is really good because it increases your ODM speed by 12.5% at max and ODM control by 50% at max and it's still pretty good under leveled but I think it's good to have when you have it over leveled as well at level 10. The other one I want to talk about is Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense is really good to find out where Titans are and if you want to put on a fog or if you're playing with multiple people because you can see where all the titans are while they are kind of searching around for them but this is just me honestly these two are a perfect combination between being fast and being fast accurately all right i'm gonna do some speed runs on the actual um skill tree and what i used for them but i know everyone doesn't have these specific perks but i'm gonna name them anyway First off, we're going to talk about the Reese clan. That's the family that I use for this, but if you don't have that, I would recommend something like Jaeger since we have a second life. And if you don't have that and you only have something like Epics, because I already know that you don't got Ackerman if you don't got either of those. And Ackerman, let's be honest, it's kind of the worst. Anyway, I would recommend something like Zoe or Tiber. Anything with Shifter Regen is a valid choice, to be honest, because if you're able to regen your health and injuries, that's already a W. Now let's talk about some other skills. Firstly, we got some Titan Shifting. If you don't have Titan Shifting, that's okay. But Titan Shifting is definitely a valid way and easy way to get kills and streaks. As soon as you're about to die, you just Titan Shift. Next up, we got Hand Grinder or Hard Counter. Both of these are valid, but I think Hard Counter is a little bit better simply because of the fact that you can kill someone or you can kill a Titan as soon as you escape them. Next up, we got the two perks, Train Cadet, and we got Lethal Tempo. Lethal Tempo is good because you get the three kills automatically easily, and that can help fill up your Titan Shifter bar. And we got Train Cadets, this way your blades will automatically reload, because those two are very OP. 
For the Vrias clan though, we do have things like Arise and Conquer that really help out. Also, the fact that Vrias clan gives you a support slot is also really good. That's why I can use two support slots like Gear Master and Sixth Sense. But that's just me. You can always use the body slot for one of them and then the other support slot you give them the support skill tree for the other. But I think Vrias is a really good family for that. Anyways, that's really all I have to say. At the moment of making this video, I still have not died and I have my streak. So I think next I'll be going through 25k um, streak. So, you know, maybe I might do a stream or two on that. You know, I'll get you guys in the lobby with me. But I'm not going to be actively going for it. I'm just passively be doing it as I'm killing other things. So yeah, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Bye-bye.